Hello there, it's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee. Okay, um, just a quick video today. These sweet corn sweets um, are everywhere um, coming up to Halloween. And, um, well, they're everywhere in the USA, probably not in England. But that's what we're going to do. Um, white cotton, orange cotton. And we are literally just going to make a cushion out of these. So I've got my white square folded over. Now even, yeah, and then I need um, a matching length, two matching lengths of the orange, which I can get away with. And the yellow needs to be on the top. And it looks just like a sweet corn kernel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this flat and then I'm going to pucker little corners in the, the corners. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I'm going to pucker little corners in the corners just to give it rigidity so that it looks more square. Now. Now these are my crafting fabrics, so they are different densities and everything else, which is all fine. Um, gives it that authentic look. And of course I will be making a few more of these, but off camera, and be using them as scatter cushions. Now, the white is a point, the yellow is a curve, and the orange is a stripe. So now that I've got these cut out, I'll be able to lay them out so you'll be able to see just a bit better. Mm. And the yellow goes on the top and the orange goes in the middle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm only saying that so I tell myself it, really. And then we can just trim that through the middle. And the last thing we need to do is we need to make this white one into a point. So I've got this two-fold. And then joining up at the corners so that it matches the size of the orange one. Now I've got my sewing machine set up on quite a large stitch. Um, yeah, just because it doesn't need to be particularly strong. I'm going to start off with sewing the bits together, which is always a good thing for me. And then I'm going to sew all the bits to the hole. Now I've chose to use orange thread. Um, this is just because I've set up the machine for quite a few makes this morning. And... Um, I might as well. So, and then if I'm lucky, I can swing the other corner of the white one round. Now, the reason I try to sew without stopping the machine is you're less likely to have a problem. And it is important to get all my outside seams on the outside. Now one of the things that's a good thing to do is to put my turning around hole in between my stripes. It's always better to have your turning around bit in a part of the construction that's flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse stitch because this is the seam that's going to get the wear. I'm going to pull this out and then I'm just going to put it in. I'm not going to cut the thread. So there we go, lower it down and then continue sewing. So I'm going to take my orange of the other side, make sure that the stitches are on facing up so that I know that they're all around the outside 
and then I'm just going to sew this one straight through. It's as simple as, and then we have a very dramatic looking cushion. Now, I made the felt one here, and um, these are kind of good if you want to add them to bits of decoration and everything. Um, and they're very simple and exactly the same. We um, one stripe, two stripe, three stripes. So that's what I'm left with. And then hopefully I can just fold that over and then sew that all together. Now it's going to be sewn in a complete circle so I'm not going to worry about um, leaving any gaps or anything. Alright, I'm going to get on with that and I'll be right back with you. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so, alright, if you looked at it you'd think, oh, I've just gone slightly wrong there. But what I've actually gone wrong at is the stuffing is in quite big balls and I do need to pull it apart. But other than that, I have my sweet corn cushion for scattering of. Um, I do need to sew up the join here. This is just the hole we made. And because we've done it on the flap, all I need to do is just pinch those seams. You can see naturally they're curling in. And it is a matter of forcing it underneath the sewing machine. And you can see, because I've got such a lightweight sewing machine here, um, I think it's actually quite funny. But, um, because the other one, it doesn't move around like this. But, yes. Forcing it under there. Making sure I've got both sides. And while it's sewing, making sure that the bulk of the cushion doesn't push off this join. So, yes. I could sit here and get my... Um, stuffing sort of rebounced but in a way I know that because I've just pulled that seam right out I can now do that and um, yeah do you know I kind of like it looking a bit funky but you can see that there's great big balls of stuffing rather than me teasing the stuffing and then restuffing Alright, thank you ever so much for watching. My name's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee and have a safe and happy Halloween.